Hello YouTube. Hello everyone. So um, I have here another Pokemon gameplay. So just in case any of you watching this, any of you enjoy any of these, which I doubt, because these only score about a view per every six days. <laughs> so I don't I don't expect anything from it. But if there's just one person out there who is enjoying this, then here is my next episode. Now, um, this episode I get my running shoes, um, I also get in a couple of fights here in the next stage, which is probably going to be that the whole episode is just me fighting a uh, bunch of cater caterpies and uh, weedles and uh, pokemons like those, and you can see me, <laughs> I'm testing out my running shoes, because I'm cool like that, so I'm just going to come here and I'm going to start picking some fights, as you're going to see. And uh, well, I want to talk about random friend requests. How many of you hate random friend requests? I'm not talking about Facebook, I'm talking about YouTube. Or these random messages that appear in your sub box like, Hey, I'm this new upcoming YouTuber. Why don't you, <laughs> why don't you come on to my channel and check out my videos? <laughs> now, I personally, I don't do that because I find it a waste of time, a waste of effort, even though, even though when you do that, I mean, you do get your videos known a little bit more, but it's still annoying, I think, I think it's annoying to the user, I mean, if someone, when someone sends me messages like those, I get annoyed, I get, I get kind of irritated, because I'm like, dude, I don't know, you, I mean, you don't even know what I like, <laughs> you're sending me Call of Duty videos and I don't even watch Call of Duty. <laughs> Do you see that? So that kind of gets me a little bit annoyed. Um, friend requests, and then they ask you to go up there and, and subscribe and give them feedback and give them like, and then you you know go to their channel. And, and what do you know? It's, uh, it's a 26 year old who's taking YouTube very very seriously. Now, is there something wrong with that? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, I'm just saying, 26. You know, you should have a plan by now. If any of you are 26, well, <laughs> congratulations, right? But, um, well, you know, you see these people and they want to make, they want to make a gold mine. I feel like this is the gold rush of 2012. Everybody wants to come on YouTube and make some, some AdSense money. Uh, I don't know. It kind of just gets on my nerves. Although, like I said it before, I'm not expecting it. I'm not expecting it. I'm not expecting above 10 subscribers, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, if I get 10 subscribers, that'll be like, wow. Is there really that many people subscribe? I wouldn't actually think 10 people subscribe to me. But what does it all matter? I mean, it's just a view and it's just subscriber, right? I mean, I'm doing this Pokemon stuff because I enjoy Pokemon. And I have a feeling that there might be four or five souls out there who might also enjoy Pokemon. So I post Pokemon gameplay and Minecraft because those are games that I enjoy, not games that, that I want people to watch. If that makes any sense. You see, Call of Duty is a very popular game and a lot of people are on the YouTubes looking for Call of Duty players for some sort of reason because they can't get enough Call of Duty on their console or PC so they actually come to the internet. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I can easily, I can easily record some Black Ops or Modern War Fail Three, but I'm not because I don't enjoy those games. And I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying you shouldn't upload videos about Call of Duty to the internet. I'm just saying that it's kind of like a cheap shot, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I look at it a different perspective than most of you out there. But I enjoy my Pokemon, and I'm gonna continue doing Pokemon, even if only one person watches these videos. I'll be happy with that one person. If that person is happy and satisfied, then I'll be satisfied. Enough said. <laughs> and, uh, man, you know, these, these little short talks that these guys give out, you know, before you battle, I'm like, youngster Ben, and then he comes up to you. <laughs> He's like, I just, I just caught a bunch of Pokemon. You want to try them out? <laughs> or he kind of talks about, hey, I just, 
just cut, or what was it? I just saw you in Viridian Forest. You wanna battle me? <laughs> and I'm like, no, sir, I don't. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna boost my Bulbasaur up to a 13 by the end of the video, I think. And I keep making the same mistakes, and I don't know. Um, I, on certain parts of the video, I'm gonna put out my Mankey. And I'm gonna want to fight a uh, a plant type Pokemon. So it's like it's like not very effective, you know. I hit a low kick, and <laughs> not very effective. I don't learn from my mistakes. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I think it, I think it's happened two or three times before, <laughs> where I'm like playing this whole thing and like right now I think I just mind whipped Ekans, just snake backwards. Fine whip snake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Um, and it's not very effective, so it kind of like, I don't learn from mistakes, you know. And I don't, I don't, I don't take my time and, and look at the uh, the charts like like oh this type of Pokemon is not that effective against this type of Pokemon. I should I should do that, but since I'm not gonna do Wi-Fi battles or any of that, I don't think I should. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Since I'm only going to play the single player, I'm not going to get into the multiplayer section. Um, yeah, because uh, I'm not that good to begin with, and I, I wouldn't even know what kind of team to build. I mean, I only have three Pokemon. I mean, what could I do with three Pokemon? <laughs> like I said, this is the first time I've played it in ages. So I've actually I haven't played it in a long, long time. Hey, I'm just picking fights. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. You're training. Let's let's go on with it right now. Something like that. So pick up this guy. Here it is. About catcher Greg. Hello, Greg. You send out your Weedle. <laughs> um, future computer build. I am actually in the process of saving up some money so I can uh, buy some computer parts and build a computer, build like a gaming computer. I want, a, I want a really good, not that a really good, you know, well, an okay computer, something that, that can run decent games at a decent speed. I'm not looking for a monster $4,000 computer, but um, I am looking for something quite neat, if that makes sense. Um, I don't have an awesome, awesome computer since I am away from college, but I do wish so uh, I'm actually starting to save up money and what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy parts like every week or every two weeks or every other week, which is the same. No, it's not. And I'm going to start buying parts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to start buying parts and uh, every other week of uh, well, uh, what I want to do. But uh, some of the parts are really expensive. I mean, I've seen videos where guys make computers for like 600, 700 bucks, but then you still have to include the monitor, and you do have to download you know, Windows 7, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, these guys are building up for like 700, 600 bucks, and they're like normal computer games. It's like, it's not an awesome computer game, but it's, it's an okay thing, I mean, that's what I'm looking for. Then I saw this really cool mod called Sonic Esther's mod, I think that's what it was. Shaders, it's a shaders mod. And it makes your Minecraft look like a fucking Battlefield game. And I'm not shitting you. It, well, it doesn't make it look that good, but it makes it look really good. And what amazes me is that these guys, they actually use a default texture pack, which looks even more amazing. So, here you have this Minecraft game, and then they add this super, super demanding mod that requires a good processor and a good graphics card. So, you know, he, he puts it, he puts on the thing, and he also adds the uh, what is it? It's Optifine. God damn, it looks amazing! It looks, it looks, it looks great. And I can't help but wonder, I'm like, wow, you know, it looks, it looks, it looks awesome. And uh, well, yeah, I kind of want to do that, but my PC will probably explode if. <laughs> If I add that mod on there, it's probably gonna explode. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with that. By the way, my computer crashed last night, which was horrible. Uh, my laptop actually. 
It's actually, I've actually never had a laptop or a computer crash on me before. Never. Ever. Now, I mean, I'm not saying I'm freaking using my computer like a boss. All I'm saying is, um, I don't know, my computer... Really. So this is my first laptop I've ever owned, actually, to be, to be fair. And uh, actually, I remember when I bought this laptop. I was really excited. It's a cheap, one of those cheap buys you get from Walmart. It's like a $300 buy. Ah, good water. I love water. And it was one of those cheap buys, like a $300 buy or something. And uh, it's got like a 2 gig RAM, Intel Pentium, Windows 7. No graphics card, of course. No, I don't know. But it's one of those... Uh, one of those work mo uh, modules, you know. Models, actually. It's one of those designed for work people, I guess. But uh, it's not It's not real. I mean, I only use it for college and uh, this, this thing that I'm doing with YouTube. I did say it before and I'm gonna say it again. I'm not planning on making this any serious. I'm not planning on sending out <laughs> random messages or friend requests. Although I do accept friend requests. If you want to add me as a friend, that's cool. Actually, I'd rather have a friend than a subscriber, if you ought to know. <laughs> um, sounded weird. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I don't have any problem. Actually, I was eating pizza earlier on today, and the smell of pizza is still in my dorm. It just smells amazing. I love pizza, by the way. It's one of the, uh, one of the great foods of all time. Of all time, people. So, yeah, so this guy uh, recommended the Asus Sabertooth X79 motherboard. Uh, one of my friends, one of my online buddies, not a real friend, actually an online buddy. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and he didn't mention a graphic card, and I didn't write down the power supply. So. If you have any suggestions, like, hey, you should get this graphic card, you should definitely tell me. Because I'm definitely going to look into buying it. But I mean, just the, just the motherboard itself, it's running at around 370, 380. But I don't think I need that saber tooth. I think I'm going to have to go for something. Uh, oh, I buy a magic card. <laughs> By the way, I buy a 500 magic card. And, it, well, Gyarados is my favorite Pokemon, so I kind of have to, I mean. I was pushing me. Look at that! I'll, I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, man. For 500, <laughs> you buy it right, and it's like Thunder just paid an <laughs> outrageous amount of 500 for Pokemon. But uh, you know what they say, YOLO. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, would, uh, I guess I guess it would be the correct term for YOLO. No, no, maybe. Well, I'm gonna start a YouTube thing, YOLO. <laughs> Not. So yeah, that's the specs that I got. I didn't actually get a uh, a box for it. So if you guys know of a good box, actually I love this little mount moon mountain moon. <laughs> it's mountain moon, uh, mount mount something else. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any recommendations, any you know, suggestions for. Or if you want to link me to your video where you made a cheap gaming computer, I would lovely to take a look at that. From what I understand, uh, the graphics card is like a major part of this, so I should definitely look into the, uh, the graphics card. Alright, um, so yeah, uh, the video is coming to an end guys, I want to thank you for watching, you guys are awesome. Um, like I said, I don't mind these videos just for fun and I'm playing I'm actually playing Pokemon for a reason because I want to have fun. Not because I want to exploit the ecosystem. And I catch a Zubat. But uh, what I'm gonna catch is you guys next episode. So see you later and as always stay tuned. See ya.